exactly what I'm saying to you. When I was 21, I was in a deep sleep and my blessed mother gave me a blue rose. I didn't know what the rose meant at the time, the blue rose. And then I brought it to attention to an elderly woman, and she said, the blue moons means of peace, love, and joy. Because the Blessed Mother's flower is the yes. blue rose. Yeah. Yeah. Her color is blue, blue and yeah. the rose is blue, too. Okay. I didn't know at the time okay. until she enlightened me, and she said, um, that, that is something very special for her to hand you a rose. Yeah. And my husband's grandmother, um, oh, God bless her, she's 106. Wow. The Blessed Mother always comes to her. Okay. And she, when she does a litany, and she told, mm -hmm. she tells and she tells her how beautiful she is. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. We have a couple of roll-ins we're going to, to uh, go to now. Um, in the booth, can you put up uh, Claudia's roll-ins? All right, Claudia, you can explain this. Tony the Sanctus. I got inspired by a specific person who works with me. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, miracles do happen, and I've been uh, blessed by a specific person. I want to thank Claudia Canuro for helping me out. I'm ill, sciatic nerve is gone. I feel a lot better, and. Uh, it's first time on camera, so I got a bit of chills. Uh, you just got to believe in what you uh, praise. There's really a lot of negative people out there. If you can just flush them out of your life, faster the better. Right. And just stick to the prayers. Listen to what people tell you. It helps. I'm cured. I still do my job. I remember complaining every day. Couldn't move my life. Couldn't do anything. Uh, and Antonio De Rouge really inspired me to call Claudia. I did. It took a bit of work. Listen to the prayers. The miracles do happen. You just gotta focus on it. And there's not much. It happens to some people, it happens to whatever. Who knows? Maybe I'm blessed. It happens to anybody. You, Speechless <laughs> I'm gone, I don't know. Chapel, if you have a chance, an opportunity, take the drive. Go to St. Brandon. Something in there you have to see for yourself. It's unexplainable. It works for myself. You know what? Take five minutes of your time. Try it. It's fun. Thanks, Claudia. My name is Sapina Scalia. I'm here today visiting Claudia's Chapel. Uh, I've been here for many visits, uh, hoping for one day for a miracle, which I know is going to happen. Uh, Claudia has been praying for such a long time for me and nothing has happened, but I'm still hoping, hope, hoping and I know there's going to be a miracle out there for me one day. And, uh, you should come and visit the place. It's beautiful. Tell us a little bit yeah, about that. The, uh, the first guy, uh, his name is Antonio de Sanctis. Um, he's a friend of mine. Uh, actually, he's a friend of my husband. He works with him. And he had sciatic nerve um, in his back, on the right side of his back, going all the way down to his leg, which was numbing out his toes, his leg. Apparently, he'd been going to, um, to a doctor or a chiropractor for mm -hmm. like three months, paid all kinds of money. Nothing ever happened. And then he calls me one night and happened to call me during the time that I chose, I always take one week of prayer every month because it takes a lot of energy, so I choose one week. And I said to him, and this was September 10th that I did pray for him, 2012. 
So I said, I don't mind, I'll pray for you. And uh, next morning he calls me, he was ecstatic. He said he was able to do cartwheels. If he, if he knew how to do cartwheels, he would have done cartwheels. So he was very, he was very, um, very happy. And with him it happened one time. And the girl is a friend of mine, her name is P Pina Scalia. She's been suffering, um, both her kidneys have failed for two years. She, um, I did a, uh, she's on dialysis like two, three times a week. And I did her prayer back in September, the first one. And I do prayers, I've done maybe seven or eight. Um, nothing has worked yet, but she has other issues that she's dealing with. She's got a lot of um, anger. Yeah. She's got a lot of other problems. So I think because of that, it's not allowing for the, the healing prayers to go That's through to true. her. And I've explained it to her. Uh, it's not her fault. She does have some disturbances at home. Mm. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, I'm not yeah. going to give up on her. No, no, because you know what the most important thing they say? They say you have to forgive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if you don't forgive, you can't heal within. Yeah, that's it. and I've and explained it to her. if you hold animosity her. towards yeah. people or anybody, that's going to eat you up inside. It's going to make it worse. Yeah. Better yeah. to give that stuff away. Just give it yeah. away. Get rid of it. You have to yeah. surrender it. For, you know, yeah. surrender it. For, forgive to everybody. God. Because she really, God, she has a lot it. of, she has a lot of faith. She's not giving up, and right. she and I'm I'm having another. Uh, every time I have a little party in the for the chapel, she's mm -hmm. the first one there. So she's not. She's she's very well, strong. Uh, on the you faith. can see her faith is very strong because she says she's not giving up. No, she's and, not giving know, up, and it, I'm not giving up. No, it's the determination. It's the it, it, and God's not going to give up on her. She no. needs to release that uh, animosity she has. Yeah. Right. It'll it'll take it'll take she's, root. Yeah. She's very. She's not. She's young. And to have both kidneys, kidneys uh, gone like that yeah. at such a young age, it's is, terrible. Is she, is, she, Dialysis. Uh, is she a candidate for a transplant? Uh, perhaps uh, she has to do some change, make some changes, but she might be a candidate for. Uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, um, don't you all believe that no matter how much healing and praying and how much confidence you have, if if God is choosing that you. You know, it's your time. Oh, well, that's it, of course. If, you know? if it's even your if, time, yes. Even if you're giving someone Reiki, let's say, I'm a Reiki master healer, mm -hmm. okay? Even if it is God's intention that they should go home to heaven to mm -hmm. Him, you can make them more comfortable yeah. right. by transition. giving them the Reiki. Mm -hmm. And also, after a soul has departed, Reiki over there will help them to become comfortable really fast and get more acclimated to... The, um, the the other dimension. The new energies when they're there. Yeah. Returning back to their regular form anyway. Yeah, so a Here's healing a, isn't a guaranteed healing that you're going to stay, but it is a good energy to have with you, whatever happens. Usually when you're dying or you're going to be sick, there's always somebody coming here to pick you up. Oh yeah, yeah of it's course. gonna be an angel, or they're gonna send you oh, yeah, your some, spirit guide, a, a spirit, or they're gonna send you some from from your family. But mostly, they send you somebody to Definitely. take you. Definitely, it has right. to be somebody to guide you, yes. yeah. to guide you through. Because yeah. that's why people can't go past the light because mm -hmm. they they're frightened. They don't know what it is. Well, I always send, when somebody passes away, I always send Michael to take them across. Right. Because uh, Michael's the the head of the ark. And That's right. I always call upon him to take uh, people who departed, even when my pet passed away. Right. Uh, yes. I, had him, I had him take him across. Yeah. Right. You know, and uh, I, I, I'm comfortable and at peace with that, knowing that uh, that when I call upon them, that that's. Uh, they're there, I'm gonna tell you. They're there I, to I do cast that. Saint Raphael is the Saint, healer. The, he's the healer. Yeah. Yes, Saint Raphael yes. is the healer. Saint Gabriel is the he's messenger. The messenger. Yeah. And Saint Uriel Uri is the love. Well, Ariel. 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 Uriel. Well, yeah, they call Uriel Ariel. Ariel, 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 Ariel works interchangeably. Uh, hand in hand with Michael. He's uh, basically a warrior artist. His, yeah, yeah, they're warriors. Yeah, and uh, his signature is uh, uh, silver. You'll see silver, silver I, when I when I, when uh, Claudia would send Raphael to me or I call upon him, I would see uh, like green sparkling diamonds in my room when I wake up at night. Wow. And I mean, so I, I know he's there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just close my eyes and go back to sleep. So, right. You know, you can't be in better hands. That's right. right. No. You know, so. It really calms you down, makes you nice and comfy. I mean, there's a, there's a line that Claudia says. She says, if St. Raphael ain't big, he's at my house. He's, he's, at, he's, he's I say he's, he's my buddy. He's, he's my, my buddy. buddy. Oh, yeah. at my house. <laughs> well, luckily, they are omnipresent, so they can be in more than one place at yeah. one time. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I thought he was just with me. She never shared. <laughs> I don't right. like to share him. He's Billions so beautiful. Billions of people in the world. <laughs> she <laughs> never <laughs> shared her toys as a child. No. But, the, but there's more more archangels, but we don't know their names. No, I Oh, know. yes. Absolutely. There's a lot. Sure. I know quite a bit of them. Many more. 
Those yeah. are the four Lisa, top guys. When uh, in, in uh, when we had the uh, trade center thing, you lost a cousin in the trade center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what did that do as far as your faith was concerned? I mean, did you start to like sometimes you know wonder why this happened and why so many good people were taken in a, in a flash of a you know of a second or suffered the way they do? That people actually chose to jump 110 stories to their death and burn. I mean, uh, I think it's human for all of us, no matter how how much faith we have, to question when terrible things happen. I mean, turn on the news at any given point. You know, why why would a baby be stuck in it? You know, be put in an oven and burnt or like, you know, I I, I ask I ask God why why and and you know my answer to that is this: um, we're not supposed to understand everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's kind of like when you were a kid and your parents said, because I said so. <laughs> you know, a lot of times that doesn't make sense. You're like, but why? I, never mind, I said so. So we, we have to, I feel, I have enough faith in God that, um, you know, I, I think that it could have been much worse than it was. It's unfortunate that, you know, my cousin and anybody else who lost people went that way. And, uh, you know, it's terrible, and I feel like it could have been avoided, but I guess, you know, that we're, we're given free choice, and uh, that's why there's that's many it. bad, free will. bad, you know, individuals in this world. And, um, I, you know, I, I can't stand that, and, and, and it's always going to keep on happening, but um, it well, didn't. Well, the only consolation to that is that they will pay. Right, I believe I yeah. believe they there will pay. Be, there'll be retribution if not in Absolutely. this life, in, in the next in eternal life. Somewhere life, along you know? the way, they're going right. to know they did something. Just wrong. like when you're a good person, you that's know? right. And um, but it didn't lessen my faith. But I know many people very close to me who, uh, when when things you know are are bad and and you feel like you have a black cloud over you, mm -hmm. they you know they question, where's God? God's not here. Why would God? God, a loving God, wouldn't do that. Yeah. And, and sometimes, you know, it does question, I, I do question that, like how could, you know, terrible things happen to animals and children and people who are good people? Well, God yeah. doesn't do it, but he, he allows it because of our free will. Well, I know, but like why? Like I, I, I know, I know, I wonder that. too. Because I said, God, why don't you just throw you a lightning why? bolt at those I people? I feel why when they hate these in things happen. Sometimes out of everything there, there's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because yes. when we had Sandy, why well, you'd say why? Mm -hmm. But look how people joined together as a family. And 9-11 too. And 9-11. Yeah, yeah. They came out everywhere. There was love. There was compassion. Mm -hmm. There was... Uh, there was life the way it was supposed to the be. The way it should be. be. Exactly. Okay. So Everybody's from something bad other. always comes something. Or look what happened to me when I lost my two children. Mm -hmm. God gave me my niece to raise. Mm -hmm. So after the two children, I had another child to replace that. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, everything happens for reasons right. down the road. Why did my mother uh, abandon me? I understand why, what she was going through, because my mother's birthday is February 23rd, and the baby was born February 22nd. Mm -hmm. Could that even hit any harder? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So close to home. Uh, very close to home. So there's a reason for everything. And is, it is a journey we're taking, and it is stages of life that we're going through uh, as we're bringing our journey back to home. Lisa, on the, uh, the subject we were just talking about, do you feel that the death of your cousin in such a, a horrible way, all right, uh, increased your search for faith? Um, no, I mean, I, I, I think we all have pivotal moments in our life. And, um, you know, for me, <clears throat> there was a point when I was unemployed and I sent my resume everywhere and I've done a lot of different jobs and I even applied for a McDonald's and I didn't get called. <laughs> <laughs> and you college dollars at work, no. ladies and, and gentlemen. I wasn't, I wasn't a kid, you know, and I was like, what? But you know, of course, they probably thought I was overqualified and you know, yeah. whatever. But the point is, um, I, I became very depressed, obviously. You could obviously read. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, not to knock that, a job is a job, but, you know, I was depressed that I can't even get hired at, at McDonald's, you know. <laughs> that would depress you. And, um, 
So I started becoming depressed, and I'm not a depressed person at all, but I had this, this moment that I was depressed, and anyone around me couldn't even deal with me because they didn't know how to deal with me being depressed because I'm not like that. Right. And then I couldn't deal with me because I'm not like that. So it was, like, very strange, and I started to say, you know, stuff like a lot of people say, like, negative.